Hello, it's Ace Comma Fan here for a kind of a different content today. Today we'll be doing a unboxing and review of Trustmaster's T Flight headset. Now I'm making this video to those of you who want an aviation related headset or to those of you who look for information on this specific headset. Now, before we start, a disclaimer, Trustmaster did give me this headset for free. They, I guess they like my content for Ace Combat 7 and they wanted to give me a try. So I might as well do a review for their product. But my main concern here, what I want to try to do is not to sell you this headset specifically, but I want to make sure you get an informed decision on when you buy a headset. Because, you know, why go through all that hassle of returning, getting a refund? It, it, it's just a waste of time. Now, if eventually, if you do want to buy it, I'll put a link in the description that also helps support the channel. So let's start with the unboxing first. First, some notable features here in the front side of the box. This headset is compatible with PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, so it's good if you have multiple platforms. That'll come in handy for myself. And it's uh, fully licensed by the US Air Force. And you can see the design. I'll be comparing later on with a real headset that I have, but the design looks very light. Looks like the real thing that people use when they fly. Uh, on the side here, it talks about some of the different face plates that will be able to change. We'll go over that. Here on the bottom, you can see, I mean, not on the, on the back, uh, there's a couple uh, specifications, different face plates, the buttons, the transmission, some specs on the audio, and so on. We'll be going over that. And here, just some descriptions in, in different languages, basically. So with the box done, let me get the components, which I already put them out here. All right, now the components are all here, all legged out, all from the package so you can get a better view. Let's start from the left to right of all the components. So with your manual, actually, there are two. We have uh, some warnings, I'll skip that. Uh, we have a little bit talking about the features and how to connect them. So here's your headset. You have a button on your headset to adjust volume. You also have a controller device to enable or to enable or disable your microphone, also to adjust the volume. And you have your jack. Now the jack you can put on your PlayStation 4 controller, as you can see here. You can also put on your Xbox One controller, or you can use on PC. There is a splitter that comes together with it, so you put one in the microphone jack one in the headphone jack and apparently can also use for your phone your mp3 your switch mac so basically it's the standard connection so you can use in pretty much i guess everything with that out of the way actually there's a little bit here on the back talks a little bit about the instructions and uh you can use it oh now i found out why this little thing here is for basically as you can see here this one is if you do not want to use your microphone so you don't have the transmitter so you can just put a cover on it so pretty nice if you just want to hear right uh and you can see here it's adjustable to the size of your head that that comes in handy some people i think i have a big head um or you can connect the transmitter and so on you can change the face plates now we have the little thing here that you use to cover if you don't want your transmitter connected so you want to put on the here mode only that is that face plates so the headset comes with three sets of face plate this one is the first one is as uh, US Air Force has the, the pilot there with the helmet here on the back there are two different mounts so one for each side hope you can see there there's some clips on how you attach both of them the second one is a trainer aircraft. There you go. And the third one is already on the headset, so this is the US Air Force logo. And there you go. Here you have your transmitter that you're gonna attach to the headset. You can see there's the audio jack for the microphone. This is flexible. You can see that I'm bending here. It's nice. And here's the actual microphone here. That is that. Here is your splitter. So you can see here you have your microphone and your headphone jack. So you can put on your computer or some other devices. They are labeled. So this microphone, it says here in the picture. This is headphone. You have the little icon here. You might, you might not be able to see, but I, I can see it. Um, and I believe the total length of this, this is where you connect the headset, of course. 
I believe the total length is about three three meters, everything all together. Let me just check with the box. Yes, three meters or nine feet for the American the American friends there. You guys should upgrade to Madrick, but okay. Uh, that is that. And now the headset itself. So I like I personally I like the design. See Trust Master from the top. I like the design. It looks like a real one. I'll be comparing them just so you know how it looks like. Uh, on your, I believe that is your left side. Yeah, that, no, that is your right side. This is the right side. So you have just your standard US Air Force. You can change the faceplate. And your left side, you have the little uh, space to, for you to put your microphone. You can put the cover if you want, which is this one. It's made out of rubber. Covers, I guess, covers pretty tight. So there you go. If you want, if you just want to listen to and not have your microphone plugged in, you do that. You can also take it off easily. Put your microphone. Let's see if there. Yeah, there's a specific way you have to do it. You have to put it in. There you go. It's inside, and then you get to rotate down a little bit. There you go. You can speak in front of you. So it's like that. You guys can see that as well. But anyway, it's actually really easy to to be able to switch. So you put back up. I suppose you see when it's pointing to the back, and then you remove it. So you have to make sure that this little thingy here, this little thingy here, there's a it matches with this little entrance here, and you can adjust. So very easy to adjust. The faceplate. Now, just let me see how that works. All right, so I got it figured out how you change the faceplates. Uh, basically, there's a little opening here on the top that you have to pull it out. Uh, you might need uh, an object that is very thin to do it. I like using the stapler because it has a thing on the back. So you just put it there and just pop it out. Very easy. It uses a little magnet. This is a magnet to keep inside here, and it has these two things that you'll insert at the bottom so it's almost like folding you just need something to pop out from this little uh, entrance here once you, once you get that done you can change to whatever one you want so just pop it in there you go it's very easy to use you just might need something to pop it out like this because at least Mike can do it with my fingers now Although they have some pretty cool designs, what I might do is I might print a sticker and put here on top, like, because I like Ace Combat, so that might be cool to have some Ace Combat squadrons in here. But yeah, it's very handy. Another thing I should also talk about is adjustment. You have the Trustmaster here, and you can just change it up, make it as big as you want. You can see it has increased a little bit. You can do it more. I guess not. I guess that's the maximum. So basically, you can adjust here. You can see how it slides. There you go. You can do that for each side. The other side has an, another button as well. Basically, adjust as much as you want. You do this with, with it on your head like this, right? So you adjust as much as you want and then tighten or loosen the here, this little screw. And on your left side, you also have the volume button so you can change while you are playing pretty handy so plus minus very smooth lastly I should also talk about this little controller here so basically it's pretty easy to use you have the microphone or cut the microphone mute your microphone so you basically slide up or down you can hear a little bit of a, of a click there you go and you can also put more or less uh, volume on your microphone so you can control both the volume of the sounds you hear with the button here on the headset or also the output of your microphone here on the little control and of course you plug this either into your system your PlayStation 4 or you put on the jack so you can use with your PC or other devices now you may also wonder how does this look like to a headset compared to one in real life like an aviation one so in order to compare I brought the one I use in my fine now I am a as a, as a time of speaking I'm a private pilot so I use this on you know smaller planes so here you go this is uh, the one I use because the color is a little bit different it's a little bit on the olive but you can notice the similarities on the design you have the metal frame here 
Let me get on both of them. So it's a very similar to the real thing, but you might see that the finish here, it's, it's a little bit different. I see the Trustmaster is actually a little bit smoother than the one I use in real life. And I prefer the color in the Trustmaster one, this personal preference. Uh, the Here on the, I do not know how you call this in English, but uh, the things you put around your ears, they also seem smoother on the Trustmaster one. The main difference one is the the size of your microphone, the transmitter. It's way smaller on the Trustmaster one, but still it, it, it fits your head. If it, It's still comfortable. Well, there you go. It's almost like the real thing. Now, I've showed you this headset, what comes in the package, how you assemble, disassemble the components and all. But of course, the main thing you want to know is how does it handle? How does it perform? Are the sounds good? Is it comfortable? That's what I'll be trying out because I haven't tested yet. I'll be doing that on a stream playing War Thunder for about a couple hours. Let's see how it handles because you know some headsets they're comfortable when you put them but past 10 minutes they already start hurting your ears. Let's see how this one does. So there you go, I streamed War Thunder for about 4 hours and the headset was comfortable from the moment I put until pretty much almost at the end. At the end of the four hours, you know, you get a little bit tired. I felt my ears were a little bit getting numb, but that was about like three and a half hours into the stream. Overall, this headset is pretty comfortable and helps isolate other sounds like that are from the environment, not from your computer. So I thought overall, this headset, it, 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 it's pretty good. And even some of my subscribers noticed and like, hey, CF, you have an aviation headset the new one and they they know this is the first time we're in so it definitely calls the attention so yeah i think this was a really good addition overall it's very comfortable i'll put the links in the description if you want to buy this headset and, and to support the channel as well as an affiliate link and if there is something i did not cover in this review please let me know so i can improve next time and i also put some specifications in the description in case you want to take a look Overall, I think the sound quality was was good as well, at least better than the, the previous headset that I had. So yeah, that is my review for the T-Flight headset from Trustmaster. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's, it comes in pretty handy. So hope this helps you make an informed decision if you're gonna buy or not. But that is it. Thank you so much guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next couple of videos. All right, see you guys next time.